The sun is a medium-sized star. Its core is only a lukewarm 10 million degrees. Hot enough to fuse hydrogen, but too cold to fuse helium. There are many stars in the galaxy, more massive yet, that live fast and die young in cataclysmic supernova explosions. Those explosions are far hotter than the core of the sun, hot enough to transform elements like iron into all the heavier ones and spew them into space. Long before the Earth, our home was built. Stars brought forth its substance. Our planet, our society, and we ourselves are built of star stuff. Now, two of the things that were created in supernova are thorium and uranium. These were different because they were radioactive and they kept some of that energy from the supernova explosion stored in their very nuclear structure. And some of this thorium and uranium was incorporated into our planet, sinking to the center of the world and heating our planet. Liquid iron circulating around the solid part of the core as Earth rotates acts like a wire carrying an electric current. Electric currents produce magnetic fields, and that's a good thing. Our magnetic field protects us from the onslaught of cosmic rays. Bigger deal, the magnetic field is deflecting the solar wind. If you don't have a magnetic field deflecting the solar wind, over billions of years your planet ends up like Mars, because the solar wind will strip off a planet's atmosphere without the protecting nature of the magnetic field. So if we didn't have the energy from thorium inside the Earth, we would be on a dead planet. The decay of radioactive elements in the core keeps it moving. 